it's so easy to see how someone else is so in need of God's judgment and, and, and his correction uh, and, and not see it in ourselves. We saw last week that Job confessed to being confused. But he's not so confused that he does that he's willing to confess to something he hasn't done. And and neither should any of us. We shouldn't say, yes, I sinned when we didn't sin. Or say, yes, I committed something that we haven't committed. We shouldn't do that. On the other hand, we sure, surely shouldn't be pointing to someone else and telling them that they should be ashamed. That's, that's not what we're called to do. We are one and all, by nature, so very capable of seeing the sins of our brothers and sisters while being completely blind to the sin that's within our own members. We are all in our own time guilty of wanting to help our brother to get the tiny speck of dust out of his, his eye, even as we are blinded by the beam that is within our own eye. We want to see our Heavenly Father judge the sins of our brothers and sisters long before we realize that we need to be the ones that need to be judged first. They can't. They, 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 they are turned away to fables. They have itching ears and, and they, they, they like Christmas, Easter, and Halloween and Valentine's Day. And they go along with the rest of the yoke of bondage, which, which we all know about. You know, don't expect a babe in Christ to be able to go with you. Don't expect it. It can't be done. One may edify another. You don't edify anybody if you're all fully persuaded in your own mind. A diet of spiritual herbs and milk will retard edification if it just stays that. You, you keep Christmas and Easter and all that, you are not going to grow in Christ. I can say that with complete confidence. Keep right on doing it. Go ahead. Nobody's trying to change you. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. If you're not alive in Christ and you're a weak carnal brother, that's where you are. Wow. Oh, Mike, he just stands with the Word no matter what happens. You know, He just sticks with the Word. Boy. All of this commercialism and all of this exaltation of the flesh, it's all going to come to nothing. I don't care how many birthdays you celebrate, you're going to be a dead man and dust to the ground, you know. Celebrate it all you want. You're going to die. And you're going to return to the dust. And that'll all be a thing of the past. Are you not carnal? That's just another way of saying, I believe that it's alright to keep days, months, times, and years. That's what you ought to be doing too. You're just being self-righteous. That's divisions. That's not coming with a a meek spirit and, and wanting to the sincere milk of the word so you can grow, that is staying where you are, implacable as he says, in, in dealing with that very situation. The works of the law are the traditions of men. That's what they are. Are you being perfected by going along with the world? I think not. The people who stand firm are the ones who get cast out. And will always be outcasts. 